Yeah. And you want to tell us what you're doing? I'm trying to kill these uh, bed bugs with okay. the bat and that bat. Okay, go. <clears throat> Kids, am I right? They always come up with the most creative and illogical things. Hmm. Freak dears, kids, right, parents? Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Top Rose Fishing. Today, it is me, Justin, and today I'm going to be leading you guys in a reaction video. Uh, just what you guys saw before was my nephews uh, trying to kill some bed books. But uh, yeah, today we're going to be reacting to uh, videos, funny videos, and. Uh, some family videos, such as my nephew's videos from their YouTube channel, and some fa funny uh, videos from Facebook. Hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, also make sure to uh, like this video if you guys are into it. And also, last but not least, remember to subscribe, guys. This fit just so perfectly in there. It's perfectly edited, man. Whoever did or made this video, very creative, bro. It actually fits and it actually looks kind of like an anime. <laughs> Especially, I like the part where they had uh, new Clyde running in the water. Oh. But uh, yeah, if you guys don't understand the reference of this video, uh, it's because you're not Hmong or you're too young. It's actually uh, like a. Uh, Basically, what you would call a lore story, but uh, it's actually it was made into a movie, and uh, yeah, it's basically a movie that every monk kid grew up watching, and it was a good movie back then. That was an epic fail. <laughs> what the actual song was. The song is called Flax Siren Beat. Uh, yeah. And it's by Jaw685. <clears throat> it's a pretty famous TikTok song. But uh, it's copyrighted, so. <laughs> I was trying to voice it out. Pew 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 pew. It's a chop. Pew pew pew. It's a chopper. There's music in here that's copyrighted, so I can't uh, play the actual video. And a pew pew pew. It's a chopper. It's a chopper. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's about 22. So yeah, why my nephew did this video? No idea. But uh, when we all saw this, we were kind of like, um, oh, little nephews is a gangster now, going around shooting people. Um, uh, which is kind of a weird thing. I don't know. I blame TikTok. Pew 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 pew. It's a chopper. Pew pew pew. It's a chopper. Chopper. It's a chopper. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. What my boyfriend feels when I sit on his lap. Hmm. Personally, I don't know what that feels like, because I've never been with a girl. Start. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys weren't aware, that was me and Andrew. Back when uh, we were younger, I was in 5th grade, he was in 6th grade. And we were just doing a troll parody video of uh, Lee Kong dancing. But, uh, yeah, the only reason why I was laughing so hard was because, uh, just the way Andrew looked, being a girl, and I just couldn't stand it, stand it, so I just kept laughing every time we did a take. I think we did, like, five takes, too. You guys, you guys can go check out the full video and do some blo and watch the bloopers. Uh, the video will be linked in the description below, uh, as all, all videos in this video, and, uh, 
Make sure to also subscribe to the channels that are being featured in this uh, video. I like how we didn't edit out the start part, but honestly, it's sometimes being unprofessional, that's what makes the video funny. Well guys, now you know where my the perfect side of me comes from. Yeah, when I was little. Just kidding. I was 11 at this time, but uh, I'm, believe it or not, I've actually been perverted ever since I was probably 3 or 4. I was just a weird kid growing up. But I mean, that's how a lot of Asian kids or foreign kids are too, you know. They're just horny for some reason. <laughs> you guys do happen to watch the whole entire video? Basically, the whole entire video, all we ever do is like hump and I grip Andrew's boobs. <laughs> Such a weird thing. But we did have a da break dancing part. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, as kids, we grew up breakdancing, especially in the third grade, that's when, uh, our brother, uh, Keith, he really taught us how to breakdance, because breakdancing at the time is what was cool for them and everything, and that's their way of trying to impress the girls. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, fun fact, uh, taking it back to, uh, story, third grade, we would have see them, uh, some bowling, uh, bowling field trips for... I don't know, just a Christmas event or something. And uh, in elementary school, that, that my third grade year, I remember, uh, I remember going and while uh, people were, everyone was dancing and everything. For some reason, I was, I was doing the helicopter and I also did the six step too. And uh, it also somehow got, got us kind of famous or whatever. And then, I guess break dancing was kind of a big thing for a little bit in my class and everybody wanted to learn it and then and then I had to like teach people how to like, break dance or do certain things like like try to teach people how to do the helicopter which the helicopter is super easy I will show you guys how to break dance right now but uh I'm a little too old for that now I'm gonna break my back but uh yeah made us famous for a little bit even our principal was talking about it he's like talking about like how Oh, there's some <laughs> kids that were, that were breakdancing, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, talk about another story about this video. <laughs> as soon as we were done recording, <laughs> Andrew punched, uh, uh, KU. <laughs> uh, I'll, show, I'll show you who KU is right now. But, uh, yeah, he showed, and my Andrew punched KU because uh, me and KU kept bothering Bruce, and for some reason Andrew got mad and he punched KU. <laughs> Uh, yeah, as you guys saw in the video, if you guys didn't know who uh, Kiyu is, Kiyu is the black guy, <laughs> and uh, uh, Bruce was the little fat chubby kid. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Cut your eyes, kids, quick! You don't want to see. You don't want to see. You don't want to see what's happening here. But, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know, I don't really quite understand why the boxer's, uh, looking at the chick. I don't know if that would mess up your blood flow, especially when you need blood circulating at your heart and your brain. Not so much down there. 
one of them messed it up, and one of them mess up your focus. But I mean, as long as it gives you happiness and a sense of boost of dopamine, a boost of that will give you a boost of energy, you know. I mean, you know, you gotta do whatever floats your boat. If it gives you energy to continue the fight, then yeah, go ahead. I've also I've also heard stories about how certain boxers can can't box unless they have sex, and I think that's just weird. <laughs> when I miss the exit, and the navigation goes from seven minutes away to tw eighteen minutes away. <laughs> Hey man, at the end of the day, I really understand uh, that meme, man. Like, I remember one time I had a fishing trip with Andrew, we went out of town, didn't know what we were doing, we had GPS, and like, there was like five lanes, there's a car right there, right there, right there, and like, I would just be so scared to, uh, you know, make a lane, t lane change, lane turn, because, you know, when you're going like 75, 70 miles an hour, and there's some people who are speeding right past you, you don't know, it's hard to check your blind spots and everything, you know. So, whenever I drive, I'm I'm always cautious about like you know having having to make lane changes when I have to make a lane change so that I can get to an exit. And like, if you do miss an exit, it makes your drive so much longer. Especially if you're on a time limit, you need to get somewhere fast. Especially if you're trying to get to work. Like for example, even driving in town here, like if you like if they're fixing the road somewhere. And you have to take a detour, and you keep messing up because you don't know the roads, and you keep making more detours. It takes like another five, ten, maybe even twenty minutes to get to your to your destination, and it really pisses you off, dude. Alrighty, guys. Unfortunately, that's all that we I have in store for you guys today. Thank you for watching this video and getting up to this point, especially. If you like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up. And if you like our content, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you, can, you guys can see future videos. And, uh, yeah. Uh, don't forget to also subscribe to, uh, my sister's channel and her kids' channels, uh, LGH3 and Pua. Uh, yeah, sometimes they make interesting content. But, uh, yeah, if I ever, if I ever do have time, I'll try to help them with their YouTube channel and everything. Just so that they can, uh... You know, doing YouTube, it can be fun, but, uh, you know, sometimes, for some people, criticism can, can get to them, get to you. Not for me, though, I don't take criticism. The only reason, the only thing I take from criticism is, wow, you're a really bad person. I don't take anything personally, bro. I just, and whenever people do say something personal to me, I'm like, what? You really think that about me? And then I think about myself, when I do an examination, I'm like, Am I really the way people think? Hmm. Am I blind about certain things? Blind about certain areas? I don't know. I don't care at the end of the day. As long as I'm having fun, that's all that matters. But, uh, yeah. I'll try to help them with their YouTube channel. But, uh, but, yeah. Getting back to the criticism thing. When you're a kid <laughs> and people are speaking hate on you and everything, I guess it's hard for them to understand. Plus, they just. They're young, they don't understand how the world works, and they don't understand how bad people can be and everything. But, uh, yeah, you know, they have good parents, they'll, they'll learn eventually and everything. You know, they probably, hopefully their parents will teach them things and not protect them from the world, instead of preparing them from the world like they, my parents did mine. You know, my parents, uh, they loved you a lot, but they didn't do much for you, they didn't support you much. Because they didn't know how, because they're uneducated, and their parents never did it for them either. And, uh, our parents, or my parents, was the, they're the type of people where you don't do something, or you need help with something. They just go ahead and do it for you instead of teaching you how to do it. And, and then you're like, uh, why don't you just teach me the lesson, or why don't you help me instead of just doing it for me, you know? It's like, what the heck? But, uh, yeah. Yeah, see you guys in another video, guys. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching again.